Pop the seals on the lean, my niggas pull up, slow up. Before we start scheming on your bucks, dumb fucks. Each that the thing, so what? I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I've come up to one warrior right here. We're getting ready for the April 30th, the showdown of the DFW area, Fort Worth and Dallas coming to know each other. We're calling it the Battle of DFW. I've got none other than the Herald. Arthur Trevino here. Arthur, good to see you. Always shake hands. Let me shake that hand, baby, because I tell you what, the Warriors that you guys are, you guys bring the show. Let me ask you, how you feeling right now? Tell me what your thoughts are about the whole entire fight card April the 30th. Well, the entire fight card is stacked with tons of local talent that I can't wait to see fight. I'm excited just to see them fight besides my fight. And I feel ready, you know, training is training, uh-huh. but uh, I'm ready to get my way in and, and get the fight going because, you know, I'm ready to eat. I'm I'm <laughs> tired of tired of eating this Did healthy you, food. Oh, I tell you, you hear that? He's hungry, baby. He's been caged. I tell you what, let's get down to your fight. We're talking about Sammy Sanchez, a man who is no stranger to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But you yourself at 5-5 five and five with two KOs, baby. I tell you what, I got a feeling you've got a little excitement here. Tell me, what can the fight fans out there expect from Arturo, Arthur Trevino in this specific fight? Well, I'm coming in shape for this fight, ready to... To put on a great fight for, uh, you know, Fort Worth and my fans, you know, because they've been there to support me through everything, through my wins and losses. So I can't wait to get in there and, and do what I do. And Sammy, you know, he's a great fighter. So I know I'm going to be in for a tough fight. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and close it up with this. I'm going to tell you, humbling words, heavy on the hands in the cage. If what I call in the cage. When you get in there, baby, it's a cage. It's a war. It's a ring. I'm going to ask you, I've seen you before, Arturo. Comeback Fighter of the Year 2009, if I remember. Fight of the Year 2009. What can Sammy Sanchez expect from you? I think you got a can written, maybe Sammy Sanchez's name on a can of maybe whoop. Yes. Oh, baby! I tell you what, we're going to wish you the best of luck. Arthur, you come. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you miss this fight. I tell you what, you've already been warned. If you miss it, may God have mercy on you because, baby, you've already been told. Stay tuned for the next interview. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you see this young man here. We give you a full view of him because you know what? He doesn't come in a half pint. He comes in a full gallon. This young man right here, none other than Mr. I'm going to let him introduce himself because you know what? This is his pro debut, and I'm going to give Manuel Rojas all of the recognition he deserves. Manuel, how you doing, first of all? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. You know what? We got through getting some footage of you in there sparring. You were sparring with uh, Miguel uh, Buendia. But I want to tell you, more importantly right now, let's talk about you, your pro de- uh, debut. Your dad's right here. Everybody's proud of you. I tell you, this man right here talking to you has seen you develop. I've seen you lose a fight that you shouldn't have lost down there in San Antonio. You remember that, National Pal? That was a robbery. I tell you what, it was a theft. We should have called the police and reported that because it was theft in action. I tell you, now, let's get over that because I'm going to tell you, as a Herald amateur, you have won every type of belt there is probably as an amateur. Why don't you, ta- why don't you name some of the few national world titles you've won, things of that. I know humble in words, but I, I need the fight fans to know who you are, Manuel. I'm uh, Manuel Ray Rojas. I won the 2006 and 2009 National Silver Gloves. I got a silver medal in the 2008 National Junior Olympics and a gold the following year in 2009. And I won the 2009 World Ringside Championship. Well, I tell you what, man, that's only a few because I know it goes way beyond that. What, right at 100 bouts as an amateur, is that correct? 103. My record was 86 and 17. Well, I tell you what, I know that's very, very, very impressive walking into the ring. But you know what, your opponent, I got a feeling, doesn't care about all that. Who? What's your opponent's name that you're, you're going to be boxing? His name is Alex Lopez, and he's out of Fort Worth, Texas. Okay, and I got a feeling... You've come prepared for one reason. That's continue. You're winning ways as an amateur, correct? Yes, that's true. Um, I'm pro to win, and that's I messed up. That's all right. Uh, you're going to edit it? You go ahead. Oh. Just keep on, baby. What do I say? You you right now, as a pro, what is your goal right now as a, a professional crawling into that ring? You're going to take care of business, are you not? Yes, I'm, I'm going to take care of business. My goals as of right now as a pro are just to stay healthy, um, develop a good fan base and have a nice record. 
I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this young man, he may not be very quick on the words because he even told me, what are you going to ask me? What are you going to I said, don't worry about it, baby. Uh, you know why? Because as fight fans that we are out here in North Central Texas, this man's going to do all his talking with his fist, and he's going to bring. Why don't we go ahead and raise that left hand and let everybody see what's going to be knocking people out as a professional. I tell you what, as I close this manual, I'm going to ask you one parting question. Any quick shout-out. Give it. I see Dad right back over there. Go over to your left. See Dad over there? Wave at Dad right quick. There he is. He's proud of son. Any shout-outs to anybody? Yes, I want to give a shout-out to my dad. He got me to where I am right now. And I also want to give a shout-out to Pali Ayala. Um, thank you for making the deal. You know what? I tell you what. Humble, like I've always said. You can give me a mayor. You can give me a council member. You can give me a city manager. I'll take a warrior any day. Humbleness in the heart. Courage in the cage. Stay tuned for our next yeah. interview. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I come to another interview. I tell you what, let me shake the hand of this man right here. We've got none other than a warrior, a man who is slated to be on the big fight card April 30th, none other than Miguel Buendia. Miguel, it's so always good to see you. I got through seeing you sparring with uh, none other than Mr. Who was it you were, who were you sparring with? Uh, Manuel Rojas. Manuel Rojas. We just got through seeing him. The reason I asked him to say that, because you know what, these both of these warriors are bringing us the action to what I call the DFW meeting. It's Battle of the DFW fighters. Well, Miguel, I'm going to ask you a question. You're climbing into the ring that day, but tell me what you think about the fight card itself. Uh, the fight card itself is going to be a very uh, exciting fight. Uh, Manuel Rojas, top top amateur. Uh huh. Very, very tough. He's finding a, a really very good opponent, I heard. So that should be a very entertaining fight. Arthur Trevino, it don't, does not get any better than Arthur Trevino. Entertain, as far as entertainment goes, yeah. Arthur's the man. Uh, Gil Rivera, I heard he was a, a slugger. Uh, yes. You know, people fighter, crowd-pleasing fights uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. coming up. And then my, my, my fight and uh, Fernando is a ferocious Rodriguez. I heard he's very, very tough. I'll come very, very prepared for this fight. More prepared than any other fight previous to this one, thanks to Pop. Paul Ayala and his team. Well, I tell you what, I'm already getting excited right now because I want to tell you, Miguel, you walk in the ring at 4-1 and one with two KOs, baby. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to focus on your opponent, but I just want to focus in on the fight right now. Right. I know that Ferocious El Firoz is coming in, and he's known in the Dallas area as being a very, very come-alive boxer. And I know you, baby. All you do is you bring us a show. Tell the fight fans, what can we expect to see? Don't, I don't want you to be humble on them words, baby. I want you to tell me, do you have a can of whoop? Ass. All Ass. four written, what, Fernando yeah, written on it? Rodriguez, yes, sir. I do expect blood in this fight. I tell you that much. It's blood or somebody's getting knocked out. Oh, man, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and what now? It's not going to be me. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you've already heard these warriors, they've been caged up. I tell you what, April 30th, they get uncaged. They're, it's just like a lion smelling a fresh piece of meat. They're going to come out here for one reason. That's going to give us a show. Polly Ayala Promotions. Productions giving us the best. You stay tuned as we bring us the warriors. Last word I want to ask you. Any quick shout-out, anything to anybody else? Uh, yes, sir. Shout-out to all the Devil Dogs out there, United States Marine Corps. Uh, all my military men out there come out and support us. Uh, thank you for all everything you do overseas. Uh, I just want to thank God and uh, Paul Ayala and his team for, for having me on this card. Well, I tell you what, I've always said this again, and I'll say it again. Humble in words, humble in heart. I'll take a warrior any day over some of the more professionals because these young men outside of the ring, they are gentlemen inside. Get ready, baby. They're bringing the show. On your face, it's a cold case. Saran rap to niggas suffocate the kick from the foot. Calla make it coward levitate. He who takes the first slug is he who hesitates. I feel I'm at this point in my life with this embrace. Slow dance with faith. I told you, fuckers, watch your manners. I'm living every day like it's the 25th hour.